Tennessee Williams was a strong part of Key West. I believe he came here in 1949. And uh, when I got to know him, he uh, was working on painting in the afternoons and doing his writing in the morning. Collected whatever I could, and uh, years later I spoke to Corey, the uh, curator of the Custom House Museum, and showed her my collection, and we put together the show. Uh, it, it eventually uh, was shown at the Ogden Museum in New Orleans, and is now going around the world. At the time I met Tennessee, I had uh, built a hotel called the Pier House. Tennessee <coughs> would come for lunch and dinner, and he enjoyed coming out to Ballast Key, an island I lived in, nine miles out in the ocean. I did a number of his paintings there. He would bring a bottle of kitchen wine and tapes of Billy Holiday. and did these lovely paintings, many of them at Bellis Key. And he was selling them, I think getting 600 to $1,000. And I loved his paintings, the colors and the mystique, the humor, which is part of his life. He was not just a man of great intelligence, but he had charm. He was a true Southern gentleman. This is a painting that he did of me. I was a bit, not horrified, but I thought, I can't believe it. <laughs> and Tennessee said, I'll tear it up. And I said, no, I'll keep it. So to be polite, he wrote some interesting things on the back, which I found more exciting than the than the painting. Wouldn't give me no breakfast. Wouldn't give me no dinner. Squad Dear David, you realize I wasn't painting the physical you, but a spirit visible to me. Love, Tennessee. We always kept in touch with each other, even as a pallbearer. I have great memories.